The difference between passive and active components. Passive and active components are two fundamental types of electronic circuit elements, and they play different roles in electronic systems. Here's a brief overview of the differences between passive and active components. Let's delve deeper into some specific passive components and their characteristics. Resistor. Properties. Resistors are used to limit or control the flow of electric current in a circuit. They have a resistance value, measured in ohms, ohm symbol, which determines the degree to which they impede the current flow. Types. Resistors come in various types, such as fixed resistors, with a constant resistance, and variable resistors or potentiometers, with an adjustable resistance. Capacitor. Properties. Capacitors store electrical energy in an electric field when a voltage difference exists between their terminals. They are characterized by their capacitance, measured in farads, F. Types. Capacitors come in different types, including electrolytic capacitors, polarized, ceramic capacitors, and tantalum capacitors, each with specific applications and characteristics. Inductor. Properties. Inductors store energy in a magnetic field when an electric current flows through them. They are characterized by their inductance, measured in Henry's H. Types. Inductors can be in the form of coils or solenoids, and their properties depend on factors like the number of turns, core material, and coil geometry. Transformer. Properties. Transformers consist of two or more coils of wire, windings, coupled by a magnetic field. They are used to transfer electrical energy between circuits at different voltage levels. Types. Transformers can be step up transformers increase voltage, step-down transformers, decrease voltage, or isolating transformers, maintain voltage but provide electrical isolation. Passive filters. Properties. Passive filters are combinations of resistors, capacitors, and inductors designed to selectively pass or block certain frequencies in a signal. Types. Low-pass filters allow low frequencies to pass through, high-pass filters allow high frequencies, and band-pass filters allow a specific range of frequencies. Potentiometer. Properties. A potentiometer is a variable resistor with a third terminal connected to a sliding contact, wiper. It allows for manual adjustment of the resistance. Applications. Potentiometers are often used for volume control, dimmer switches, and tuning circuits. Diode, when used passively. Properties. Diodes, when used passively, can act as rectifiers, allowing current flow in one direction only. Zener diodes, in particular, can be used for voltage regulation. Applications. Rectification in power supplies. Voltage regulation. Resonant circuits. Properties. Resonant circuits involve the interaction of inductors and capacitors to create resonant frequencies. These circuits can be used in applications like tuning radio receivers. Types. Series and parallel resonant circuits, LC circuits. Passive components are essential for constructing electronic circuits, providing the necessary building blocks for a wide range of applications. They are reliable, have no gain or amplification capabilities, and are often used to shape, filter, or store electrical energy in a circuit. Understanding the properties and applications of passive components is crucial for designing and troubleshooting electronic systems. Let's explore active components in more detail. Transistor. Function, transistors are semiconductor devices that amplify or switch electronic signals. They come in different types, bipolar junction transistors, BJD, and field effect transistors, FET, and are fundamental in electronic circuits for signal amplification and switching applications. Symbol, the symbols for NPN and PNP bipolar junction transistors typically consist of three layers and arrows indicating the direction of current flow. Operational amplifier op-amp. Function. Op amps are high gain voltage amplifiers with two inputs, inverting and non inverting, and an output. They are widely used for various signal processing tasks, such as amplification, filtering, and mathematical operations. Symbol. The symbol for an op amp typically has two input terminals, one output terminal, and power supply connections. Integrated circuit IC. Function. Integrated circuits are complex assemblies of transistors, resistors, capacitors, and other components on a single chip. They can perform a wide range of functions, from amplification to signal processing, logic operations, and more. Examples, microcontrollers, microprocessors, operational amplifier ICs. Field effect transistor, FET. Function, 
FEDs are transistors that use an electric field to control the flow of current. They are often used in amplifier circuits and as switching devices. Symbol The symbols for in-channel and p-channel FEDs represent the direction of current flow and the control of the electric field. Diode When used as an active component. Function While diodes are typically passive, some diodes, such as light-emitting diodes, LEDs, and photodiodes, can be used as active components for light emission and light detection, respectively. Symbol The symbol for a diode is an arrow indicating the direction of current flow. Voltage-controlled oscillator, VCO. Function VCOs are active components that produce an oscillating output voltage whose frequency can be controlled by an input voltage. They are often used in frequency synthesizers and communication systems. Application Frequency modulation, FM synthesis, phase-locked loops, PLLs. Amplifiers. Function. Amplifiers are circuits or devices that increase the amplitude of a signal. They can be built using various active components, such as transistors or op-amps. Examples. Audio amplifiers, radio frequency, RF, amplifiers. Active components play a dynamic role in electronic circuits by actively controlling and manipulating electrical signals. They often require an external power source and are crucial for tasks such as signal amplification, signal processing, and the generation of new signals. Understanding how these components operate is fundamental to designing and analyzing electronic systems and devices. Power requirements refer to the electrical power needed for the operation of electronic components and devices. Understanding power requirements is crucial in designing, analyzing, and maintaining electronic systems. Here are some key concepts related to power requirements. Active components and power consumption. Active components, such as transistors, operational amplifiers, and integrated circuits, require electrical power to function. This power is often supplied by a DC voltage source. Power consumption is a measure of how much electrical power an active component uses during its operation. It is typically specified in watts, W, or milliwatts, MW and depends on factors like the component's design, operating conditions, and the applied voltage. Voltage and current requirements. Voltage requirements. Each electronic component has specified voltage requirements for proper operation. These requirements include the supply voltage, VCC, and signal voltage levels. Current requirements. The amount of current drawn by an electronic component is also critical. It is essential to ensure that the power supply can provide sufficient current for the proper functioning of the components. Power Supply Considerations Stability and Regulation A stable power supply is crucial for reliable operation. Voltage regulators may be used to maintain a constant voltage despite variations in the input or load conditions. Efficiency Efficient power supplies convert electrical power from the source to the load with minimal losses. This is particularly important in applications where power consumption is a critical factor. Power in AC circuits. In AC, alternating current, circuits, power is expressed as a combination of real power, measured in watts, and reactive power, measured in volt amperes reactive, VAR. The combination is known as apparent power, measured in volt amperes, VA. Power factor, PF is the ratio of real power to apparent power and indicates how effectively electrical power is being converted into useful work. Power factor correction may be employed to improve efficiency. Battery power. In portable and battery-operated devices, understanding the power requirements is crucial for optimizing battery life. Components are often designed to operate at specific voltage levels to maximize energy efficiency. Power management circuits, such as voltage regulators and low power modes, are employed to extend battery life. Heat dissipation. Power consumption in electronic components results in the generation of heat. In high power applications, heat dissipation becomes a critical consideration. Heat sinks and cooling systems may be necessary to prevent overheating and ensure component reliability. Energy conservation. Designing electronic systems with energy conservation in mind is increasingly important. This involves optimizing the power consumption of components during both active and standby modes. Understanding and managing power requirements are essential aspects of electronic system design. Engineers must carefully analyze the power characteristics of individual components, consider the overall power budget of the system, and implement strategies to ensure reliable and efficient operation. 
Amplification refers to the process of increasing the amplitude or strength of an electrical signal. Amplifiers are devices or circuits designed to perform this function, and they are widely used in electronics for various applications. Understanding amplification is crucial in fields such as telecommunications, audio engineering, and signal processing. Here are key aspects related to amplification. Amplifier Basics Amplifier Function An amplifier takes an input signal and produces an output signal that is a larger replica of the input. The amplification factor, often denoted as gain, G, represents how much the output signal is magnified compared to the input. Amplifier Types There are various types of amplifiers, including voltage amplifiers, current amplifiers, and power amplifiers. Common active components used in amplifiers include transistors and operational amplifiers, op-amps. Voltage Amplification Voltage Amplifier A voltage amplifier increases the voltage level of the input signal. The gain of a voltage amplifier is expressed as the ratio of the output voltage to the input voltage. Mathematically, gain, G, equals output voltage slash input voltage. Current Amplification Current Amplifier a current amplifier increases the current level of the input signal. The gain of a current amplifier is expressed as the ratio of the output current to the input current. Mathematically, gain, G, equals output current slash input current. Power amplification. Power amplifier. A power amplifier increases the power of the input signal. Power is the product of voltage and current, so power amplification involves increasing both voltage and current. Mathematically, gain, G equals output power slash input power. Operational amplifiers, op amps. Op amp basics. Operational amplifiers are versatile integrated circuits used as building blocks for a wide range of amplification and signal processing applications. Ideal op amp characteristics. Ideal op amps have infinite input impedance, zero output impedance, infinite open loop gain, and zero input offset voltage. Transistor amplifiers. Bipolar junction transistor, BJD BJD amplifiers use the amplifying properties of bipolar transistors to achieve voltage or current amplification. Field effect transistor, FET FET amplifiers utilize the amplifying properties of field effect transistors. Gain control. Variable gain. Some amplifiers allow for adjustable gain to accommodate different input signal levels or to control the output level. Feedback. Negative feedback is often used to stabilize amplifier performance, reduce distortion, and precisely control the gain. Distortion and linearity. Distortion. As signals pass through an amplifier, unwanted changes in the waveform may occur, leading to distortion. Well-designed amplifiers aim to minimize distortion. Linearity. A linear amplifier produces an output that is a faithful reproduction of the input signal, without introducing nonlinear distortions. Amplifiers play a critical role in electronic systems, enabling the manipulation and enhancement of signals for communication, audio reproduction, instrumentation, and many other applications. Engineers carefully select and design amplifiers based on the specific requirements of a given application. In summary, passive components are essential for shaping and conditioning electrical signals without providing active control or amplification. Active components, on the other hand, actively manipulate and control electrical signals, often requiring an external power source for their operation.